All right, a quick breakdown of this IV generation tool I made yesterday. Start off with a leaf here. It's just a card. A little bit of point jitter on it so that they're not just completely flat leaves with a little stem mesh attached to it. Material. That material is just a USB preview surface with a IV leaf PNG texture plugged into it. Uh, that's fed into an instancer where these points come from, well, we'll see in a minute. So if we go into IV here, and we start from the top. You pick your mesh. I'm using Crag for now. Because Crag is built in parts, and I want to be able to use Find, find Shortest Path to go all the way through it, I'm going to want to convert them to VDB. So he's all one mesh. Then we measure him. And we get top and bottom values. We remap them and turn them into an actual CD attribute. And then we blast the parts. So you got a top and bottom. Then we pick random points with, with the delete node. I'm just using a, yeah. Just a few random points on the top and bottom. My display is not working. There we go. And then we group those, merge them back into Crag, fuse, and then find shortest path between the bottom and top points. Then we select random points off that find shortest path to start our branching. So we take those branch starts. Merge them into Crag again, fuse, and we group expand. Then we delete everything that's not in that group expand, find the outside edges of that group expand, delete everything else, and then pick some random points from those. Then we delete the geometry and just the points, and then we make a group out of those. You got branch one ends. So you got your starts and then your ads. Then we merge those back into Craig, fuse, and then find shortest paths between those. Now we keep we merge that to the other find shortest paths and we keep rinse and repeating that process until you're happy with your branching. This is where I end up. I got three levels of branching. Then from here, I copy in the normal attribute from Crag so that all the points will be facing outwards. And then we pick some random points. We're making stem points here. So because these go, we don't want leaves to spawn on these points along these fine shortest paths. We just want them. We expand here, group expand. We don't want those points there. We just want these ones on the outside edges. So this group combined will do that. It'll subtract the stem start from the stem end by using exclusive or. And then we blast everything that's not a stem end. Then we find shortest path between the stem start and the stem end. And now we've just got some leaf points here. So we merge those back to everything else, fuse, and then we're transferring in normals again here, just in case. And then we set up our vellum simulation. Uh, you're going to need some pin points, or it's just going to everything's just going to fall off, Craig. Uh, branch one start, and branch one ends seem to work the best for me. Uh, And then, yeah, simulate it for, I'm doing 53 frames, but do as many as these as you, I guess. I should, uh, yeah, doesn't take that long. Now I'll leave it at 48, that's fine. And then we smooth those. And then for the vines, we polywire that. 
and then I just put a color on it. You can put a material if you want. And then for the points for the leaves, we orient a long curve. This is in combined with combi eh, combined with the normal. It'll give some really good leaf positions. A lot less clipping. They'll be facing away from Craig. And then yeah, delete everything that's not a leaf point. And then we pump that into the end. Here is just a little more control over how many points we're using how many leaves there will be. And that's really about it. There's not too much else to it. Thanks. Thanks.